In this video, I'll show you the difference between static and dynamic tone mapping. I'll showcase dynamic HDR tone mapping at various target brightness levels, including 450, 700, 934, and 1450 nits. Each TV has a peak brightness maximum, serving as the foundation for the dynamic tone mapping curve. For instance, the 2022 LG C2 has a peak brightness target of 810 nits. When the content exceeds this limit, the image is dimmed down to match that target brightness. Your TV receives brightness data for each shot and can skillfully adjust the tone mapping, preventing clipping and delivering a more precise result compared to a static HD or tone curve. I'll be using the movie Pacific Rim, which has a bright HD or grade with highlights over 2000 nits, making dynamic metadata essential to display the image without clipping on most TVs. When content falls within your TV's brightness capabilities, as you'll notice in this video, dynamic metadata has no impact, and the images appear identical to HD or 10, because no tone mapping is necessary to accurately display the content without compromising detail. Consequently, a 10,000 nits TV would render dynamic metadata largely useless, as most modern films are mastered at brightness levels well below 1,000 nits. This suggests that many newer, High brightness TVs don't need dynamic HDR. Some movies have manually created trim passes that can brighten the image but this is not recommended by Dolby Best Practice. The dynamic metadata purpose is to dim down the brightness and not the other way around. Additionally, I'll include a comparison of HDR 10 Plus to Dolby Vision metadata conversion, which the Ugus can now perform on the fly. As demonstrated in my previous video, Dolby Vision calculates average brightness metadata differently than HD or 10 plus, but it still surpasses static HD or 10 in terms of tone mapping accuracy. Now, let's compare dynamic tone mapping to static HD or 10. Since no TVs have the same peak brightness capabilities, I'll show several scenes at different brightness targets. For reference, here's the peak brightness of the LG C series from 2009 to 2023. 